Hey guys, Rocky here. Uh, just want to do a quick video. I wanted to show you guys the uh, nice set of drums I just picked up by Peace Set. Uh, compliments to my brother. He told me about it. You saw it on one of the uh, uh, sites I garage sale, I think it was. And uh, it was going for a good price, and I figured I probably should pick it up. It's a uh, Gretsch Blackhawk uh, five piece drum kit. It didn't come with no uh, cymbals or cymbal stands or. or uh, bass pedals or anything like that. It just came with the five uh, pieces, which is the uh, snare. It came with three toms. The other tom is right here. This is, uh, I'm not sure how to mount this one yet. That's why I don't have it hooked up, but it's a uh, very nice, uh, like I said, Blackhawk Gretsch. It's a very, very nice kit, especially for the price I paid for it, which I'm not going to tell you guys, but uh, I just got to figure out how to mount this guy, and then I've got three nice toms. Uh, Came with the bass, of course. No, no pedal. That's my pedal from another kit. Uh, I threw in my uh, uh, four tom here too. It's really doesn't belong with the kit. It's totally different color. I might paint it black just so it looks similar. But uh, uh, at some point, I'm going to sell this kit. Like I said, it didn't come with cymbals. Didn't come with uh, cymbal stands. It didn't come with bass pedal. Uh, I'll include all that stuff with the kit if I do decide to sell it, so the price will come up a little bit from what I paid for it, obviously. Uh, these ones here right now don't have any dampeners on them, so they got quite a bit of uh, ring to them. Well, not the snare, but... I'd probably put something on them to dampen them down a little so they don't have too much pain. Uh, like I said, this is... Uh, this is a Pearl CX500, and uh, they sound pretty good. Uh, this is just a cheap power beat. It's uh, still more than adequate, obviously. Uh, they've got Remo skins on them. And the Gretsch themselves with the uh, the five-piece is a really nice set. There's the badge on it, so that you can see that it's actually Gretsch. Uh, it's got some nice, uh, some really nice hardware. Very nice hardware indeed. Uh, this side over here, you can see the Gretsch uh, logo on the front of the the uh, bass and you got your Gretsch logo on all the drums uh, everywhere so uh, skins are all good nothing's busted on them uh, they're I haven't looked them over really close yet to see how they are in terms of scratches and stuff like that but at a glance I don't see any scratches on them right now so I don't think they've seen a lot of abuse I'm not much of a drum player I do like to bang on them once in a while I'm not good at it a, a little sample of what they sound like like I said I'm not really a drummer so uh, I gotta get my stick I dropped here. I'm not really a drummer, so don't expect So it. I think you guys can, uh, can see pretty good there. I'm going to give it another little rip here. Just give me a couple of seconds. And uh, just making a couple of adjustments here to make sure that we've got uh, everything in there. Uh, and there's the base four to the four top. This will belong to the kit. There, it belongs to the kit. And here's the toss. with the kit which is not set up so
said, I'm not much of a drummer, so. I just like to, I like to bang on them. It's good stress relief. symbols there, try to do some uh too much of that racket. I just wanted to show you that I got a new set of drums, got them at a pretty good price. They may go up for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, like I said, they're uh, Blackhawks uh, made by Gretsch, five piece. When I purchased them, they did not include the uh, cymbals, uh, which is, uh, there's the, the Hi-Hat Pearls CX500. There's a uh, cheesy power beat uh, crash, which is not bad. I mean, Obviously not a brand name of any sort. Well, it is a brand, but it's not a high quality brand name. It's got a couple of stands. Uh, these stands aren't high quality stands by any means, but they're more than adequate. Uh, so the original set actually had the snare. There's three toms, the one that the uh, camera is sitting on at the moment. This guy right here, uh, which is a, a nice, little, uh, nice little set for sure. Like I said I hadn't figured out how to set up that third tom. That's why that's just uh, kind of setting off to the side right now. Uh, these purple hats are really great. Especially if you know how to drum, I don't. Too tight or a little too loose. Uh, just drop it a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna drive you crazy with a whole lot of racket. I think I'll cut that video short right there. Uh, I'll just take a walk around, show you the front of the drums. So the other side, I think I might have already given you a little bit of a shot. I'll just give you a walk around real quick. Uh, like I said, there's the uh, a little hard to see maybe with the light, but it's the uh, Pearl CX500, and that's the uh, that's the hi hat. Uh, then there's the other uh, symbol here that I don't have set, or uh, sorry, uh, Tom that I don't have set up. It's uh, all the mechanism there for attaching it. It's there. I just don't know how to attach it. 
Uh, and of course, I'll throw in a set of drumsticks. I don't know which ones. I've got a few sets, but I'll throw in a set if I decide to sell them. Uh, they've all got uh, pretty good Remo, uh, Remo uh, skins on them. I don't know if that's uh, what, uh, where that is quality-wise, but I'm pretty sure Remos are you know, pretty mainstream. Uh, then there's this uh, Power Beat uh, Crash. Uh, it's got a stand, not a bad stand. Stand's good enough to hold that up. It's not, uh, not going to fall down. Uh, same with the hi-hats. Uh, I mean, this bass doesn't go with it. Uh, it's just uh, some off-brand. I'm not sure if you guys can read that. I can't see it. <laughs> Tama, I think. This is uh, what's the skin. Uh, or whatever that is down there, I'm not sure. I've got a few more pieces inside, too. I've got another snare, and I've got... Uh, I'm not sure if there's one or two toms in there. There might be two toms, I'm not sure. Maybe only one, it might only be one. But it was a mismatched set. Uh, you know, this one here is a your red amber color, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the tom inside is blue. I've also got another base, it's blue. Uh, it matches the tom, and it's not just, a, not just a straight flat or straight one solid blue color. It's kind of a, it's kind of a marbly look to it. Uh, Maybe I'll just take the camera in and take a sn snapshot of that here in a few moments just so I can, I can add that to this video. We've got, the, like I said, there's the bass. Uh, this pedal didn't come with it. I've got three or four pedals in there. I actually had a double bass uh, pedal set up at one point. Uh, you know, if somebody's interested in that, I might even potentially uh, throw that together so that you have your double bass with it as well. But then again, every time I throw something in, of course, that means it's going to come up in price, right? Uh, once again, it's Blackhawk. Gretsch, all the hardware with it's all Gretsch Blackhawk hardware, all matches set. Looks good. It's a, it's a fairly good quality br uh, brand, I'm sure. Gretsch is a really good name. I'm thinking this is this is probably not your top of the line Gretsch for sure, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a nice one. A lot of guys like the black and the chrome. I've always liked the black and the chrome. Some guys like uh, to not, uh, you know, mix it up with the color, but uh, the black and the chrome is definitely, you can't go wrong with black and chrome. That uh, pretty much suits everybody. So guys, there it is. Uh, that's about all I'm going to say about those right now. I might play around with them a little bit just to uh, get myself back up to speed. I'm definitely out of, out of practice. Uh, I might add too that I've also got a set of electric drums downstairs. Actually, I've got two. I've got one that belongs to my son Greg, and then I've got a set that uh, belongs to me as well. And uh, I do believe it was supposedly like a five-piece setup, but they come with the cymbals. The cymbals are rubber, but they make the cymbals sound obviously. Uh, it's a full, uh, it's a full set, and you can adjust the pads to whatever sounds you want. So you can have, uh, you can uh, set yourself up with additional cymbals or cowbells or whatever you want to set it to. But anyway, I'm keeping that. I'm not going to sell that unless I'm hard up, desperate, really need to sell it. But I did buy these more as an investment, so I'm probably going to look at selling these. Uh, so if anybody's interested, uh, just give me, uh, send me something in the comments. Uh, text me, uh, try to get my phone number, call me, whatever, and uh, see if uh, we can strike a deal.